Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yashar Allah. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Harak Akundash. And blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the work. Shout keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more quoted precepts. Uh, scripture tells us to be circumspect. Right, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Right, that scripture gets used quite often, I know by me. Uh, but it's, it's the spirit that's you know placed upon us to quote this uh, scripture because now is uh, now is the time more so than ever to be circumspect of the times that we're living in to watch watch the devil's moves and watch the devil's plays because this devil ain't got no he, he don't have time like that man this devil kingdom is falling and he know it i saw a video of uh, some um u.s official that was saying that there's never been a time to where you had so many things happening to the daughter of babylon uh, let alone at the same time and it is so it's different these are different times that we're living in now my scripture tells us um, basically watch or walk wise not as fools redeeming the times because the days are evil right and this devil is real life plotting right um, thing I've been seeing in the news as of late has been um uh, Rule 2.13 pertaining to uh, a medical emergency, right? Whatever that emergency may be, and whoever deems that event an emergency, and basically all people losing their rights and being, uh, you know, being taken away and placed into facilities, right? Um, it said for the start in New York. Um, I don't know when, but that's what I've been seeing. Right? I Googled it and I saw the same thing. Right? So this is not just TikToks and um, YouTube videos. Right? But it's bigger than just a quote unquote medical emergency. And I really got to be careful with how my speech is. Because I want this to be seen. Right? Scripture tells us in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12 that the devil knows that he has but a short time. Right? It also says at the end of Revelation chapter 12 that the devil would make war with the saints. Right? Those of us that keep the word of the most high. So it's personal. Right? This devil understands that the more of us that wakes up, the more we prophesy, the more the Most High moves for his name's sake and on our behalf, all right? So I guess the warning would be watch and pray, of course, but that's what scripture tells us to do. But in the midst of watching and praying, make sure that you continue to keep the faith, keep faithful works because it's working, right? We see it. Is working, all right? The Most High's word is true. First Kings, uh, chapter eight and verse forty-two, I believe. I know it's in First Kings chapter eight. But the Most High said, if we uh, come to Him, basically repent, right, with all our heart, with all our soul, all our mind, make supplication unto the Lord that He would maintain our cause and that. Maintain our cause means fight for fight for us. And we're witnessing the most high fight for us, just like he did in the time of Marsha, right? When we were in the land of Mizraim, and that Pharaoh wouldn't let us go. And the most high said in Romans chapter 9, the reason why the most high allowed that Pharaoh to have a heart that he did basically was to show his glory. The most high put it on the Pharaoh hard to not let us go. So the Most High is putting it on this devil's heart, right, to not let us go now, not tell us the truth about ourselves, right? So 
With that being said, be circumspect. Watch, because this devil is highly upset that we got this truth. They can't figure out how. Right? They cannot figure out how. They can't figure out how the Most High got their lips falling upon themselves, like it says in uh, what, Psalm 64. But he does. Right? For instance, um, Christianity believes that Esau Edom has been done away with. Dude named Vocab Malone, which is a devil in himself, that whose sole purpose in life apparently is to go against the true doctrine. He claims, and uh, his followers, and a lot of Christian dumb, that there is no Esau Edom. Right? But in the same breath, you claim that the people overseas, the small hatters, the people that are at war right now with Hamas. You claim that those people are the people of the book. Same breath. <laughs> those people say that they have to go uh, annihilate, basically, Amalek. Right? Amalek is Esau Edom. Amalek is the individual that the Most High said he would have war with from generation to generation. Right? So, all of this is the most high making moves on our behalf. All of this is the most high showing this devil who's who. Right? Like scripture says, dog thought is, I was all together as one of one of thee. Right? Because the most high been allowing certain things to happen. This devil real life believed that he right in his movements. Right? And that the Lord got his back. And that's not so. Your time was for a time. Just, it was it was for just that. It was for a season and your season is up. Right? So Yasha Allah, man, pay attention to what's going on in the world and understand that this place is over with. And also understand, according to the scripture, this place ain't going down without a fight. It's going to get ill out here. Right? That's what Daniel 12 one is speaking on. That's what Jeremiah 30 is speaking on. Right? It's personal because they're going to take personal attacks against the truth and anybody who believes and lives in it. Right? So, but also, on a same note, who do we serve? We serve Yahweh by Shemni Yahweh Shai. Right? We serve the great power creator of all things. Right? Yahweh told us we <clears throat> shouldn't have the spirit of fear. But of uh, what strength, uh, believe strength, power, and a sound mind, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's uh, either first or second Timothy, is one of them, right? But we serve a God that's real, He's alive, and He's making moves on our behalf. So if He's making moves on our behalf, guess what? All we got to do is just be on His good side, do what He says to do, right? He sent His Son to ease that, ease that, uh, uh the burden of trying to please the Lord because it is hard to please the Lord, <laughs> right? Because he's a perfectionist, right? But guess what, though? He made a perfect being that sacrificed for us. So all we have to do is just keep the faith that he did that for us. What is saying Acts chapter 2, right? Uh, uh, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, ye men of Israel, hear these words. Right? If we believe that and we act like that, we live that, then guess what? Those words are for us. That ain't for an individual that's talking about what the old covenant over with so I can eat pork, I can eat a slab of uh, pork ribs and catfish and shrimp because it, 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 it don't hold against me no more. Nah, they ain't talking about that. They're talking about the individual that suffers daily but still keeps the faith. Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. Those that sigh and that cry for the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right? So, yeah, just maintain Yashallah, man. This place done, man. And how about Shmuel Shah Rajazah sooner than later? And so, with that, um, yeah, how about Shmuel Shah Rajazah? These quoted precepts in this video were edifying. Called Haloyim La Yahawah. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakha, Padash, 
right? Um, and man, appreciate y'all for um, you know hearing the gospel, bro. You know, um, appreciate y'all um, for for listening. Um, you know, to the gospel through the spirit that the Most High blessed me with. Right? How about Shimei Al Rashad, Baraka Thumb? Right? Call Haloyim La Yahweh by Shimei Al Rashad by Shimei Al Rashad by Shalawan Yahshua.